Apple's iOS 10 is coming this fall, and it's coming with some big changes, and some small ones. First, Siri is going to be a lot more useful now, since developers can integrate the AI into their apps. Hey Siri, call me a car so I can stop doing this stand-up. You'll be able to do more wherever you're going with the new, more open maps. And if somebody asks you for information, Siri can help you respond. Nice job, AI. iMessage is gonna be a lot more useful too. Bigger emoji and invisible ink will make talking more fun and more discreet, but the real deal is that iMessage is going to be an actual platform now, complete with square payments and rich links for video and music. Speaking of music, Apple Music is much cleaner and more personalized. You'll even get a daily playlist of tunes, a la Spotify Discover. News is getting a similar makeover, plus support for paid subscriptions. Notifications are going to be a lot more responsive, and cleaner too, and you can interact with notifications and widgets to do a lot without ever opening apps. It's all about faster interactions in iOS 10. The Photos app is catching up to Google, but with one big difference. All the sorting and face recognition will take place locally instead of in the cloud. Perfect for your sensitive pictures. The phone, you know, the part you talk into, is getting voicemail transcription and much better integration with calls from other apps. Now, what wasn't announced is just as important in iOS 10. There are lots of little features, but the best news is that tips, calculator, and more than a dozen other preloaded apps, you can finally delete those. Buy forever, stocks. It's all coming this fall, but if you can't wait, there's a developer preview out right now. But you should wait. And in the meantime, maybe say a nice long goodbye to GameStop.